I know, like... Yo, there we go. I see, like, it's at the, like, the bottom... The bottom right corner of the sun. I can see it. Stay a little bit. Uh, when it's not too cloud. <laughs> Eclipse is pretty much like a once in a lifetime type of event for many people um, and although we are not experiencing full totality but we are are going to be experiencing about 90 to 91 percent of the Sun covered by the moon as the moon is going across the Sun um, and that's what we should be expecting today uh, it should darken a little bit around like a dusk like type of feel um, and uh, then the sun will reappear. It should be darkened for about two minutes or so and then uh, the sun will come back up for the rest of our day. Uh, it's pretty exciting. This is my second eclipse. I've never actually seen a total eclipse but I did see the 2017 eclipse up in Boston. Definitely excitement for sure. Um, I guess I'm a little nervous because I don't know how my eyes will react but you know, especially since they're lighter colored. This is a very, very exciting day. The last eclipse that we had was in 2017, so it was quite some time ago. And um, this eclipse, the path of the eclipse is very, very close to totality where we are. Um, it's going to be up to 90%, which is also very, very exciting. It's a little saddening that it's not a total solar eclipse, but um, maybe one day we'll be in the path. This day is really excited for staff and for students. Anybody who is an amateur uh, astronomer to a budding scientist, um, again, this is a, for many people, a once in a lifetime experience. The next time that we're gonna be seeing any type of eclipse partial or even total is in the next 20 years. So we have to make sure we keep those glasses handy.